Hi, everyone, and welcome to the Rural Doc Allen podcast. I'm excited to welcome the program, Rural Doc Allen Lindemann. Doc, what's going on, man? How are you? We're doing really well here, Neil, and you? Doing fantastic. And our topic today is possible causes of spotting. What is spotting? Well, it's bleeding from someplace, Neil. We don't necessarily know what from. It could be uterus, but cervix, it could be many different things. Okay. How common spotting? Well, I would say it's less than 5% of women experience spotting. And of course, we're not talking about pregnancy spotting here. This is spotting when you're not pregnant. What are the various causes of spotting? Well, you have hormone manipulation, for example. You've got birth control pills. You've got implants. You've got the shot. You've got uh, uh, postmenopausal hormones, um, uh, Premarin. You also have fibroids, and they're benign smooth muscle tumors. And then you have STDs like ureaplasma, mycoplasma, chlamydia, um, gonorrhea, group B. And of course, you can have bleeding from the cervix. Could either be an infection or um, carcinoma. And that goes, uh, holds true for vagina, uterus, or vulva. You can have bleeding for those reasons. When should a woman be concerned about spotting? Well, I think almost any time you should at least go in and get checked out. It probably is going to be benign, but, um, you know, the number one cause of female cancer is endometrial, and the survival rate for that is 95% for five years. So it's it's easily diagnosable by bleeding, and it's the treatment is very effective and uh, provides a good life afterwards. All right, the best place to go is, again, worlddocallen.com and safepregnancy.com. Appreciate it, Doc. Thanks, Anil. All right, that was the World Doc Allen Podcast, guys. Take care.